Hey guys, so I'm just going to go through another tutorial today and this is going to be sh showcasing and sort of explaining the best way to manage variables within your scripts. It might not exactly be very glamorous, but in a way it's really important because it can help you in the long run, especially if you've got lots of variables just cluttering up either in the inspector or in your scripts and you just want a nice way to manage them, make them look nicer and have them more user friendly if you do choose to use them in the inspector. Well, sometimes if you have things as public, It'll make them visible in the inspector but you don't always want them to be public because you might not want them accessible outside of a script because public allows you to make sure that if you've got another script you can access the variable or say a function or a method elsewhere which say in another script we had a damage script we can update our health slider on or our health depending on what we've done in that other script and it can be a nice way if you need to do it but if you don't it's good to keep it private but then again, if you've got it as private, you can't actually see it in the inspector and you want to be able to see it sometimes. So for instance, if we've got this in the middle here, max health as private, we can actually see it. But if we write in square brackets, we can write in those square brackets, serialize field. And now if we save that out and go back into unity, you can see that max health appeared and we've got it back in the inspector. What you can still see is it is still a private variable, so it's not accessible anywhere else but now it is visible. Similarly with um, the one below, we can have square brackets and say this public fall rate that we never wanted to be able to see in the inspector and we just wanted to get rid of it so we didn't have to be able to see it. We can just write in square brackets, hide in inspector. And what we can do is we can save that out. It still means that it's public, so it's accessible everywhere else, but back inside Unity, you can see that it then disappears. When it's compiled and we don't actually have to see it in the inspector anymore so it's not cluttering up anything there now that's all well and good but you know the the variables that we'd seen there in the inspector were all quite cluttered up and it, it just didn't look nice it just was a bit hard to see so what we can do is we can break stuff up by writing two square brackets sort of above whichever section or variables you want you can write something like header and then in two brackets facing away from each other, inside quotation marks, we can write something like health variables. And we can save that out, go back into Unity, and when it um, recompiles, you can see that now we've got a header which says health variables. So we've got a nice way to sort of organize everything within the inspector. And from here, we can do exactly the same thing. So we could copy that header, paste it below for the actual thirst variables and edit health and call this thirst, minimize this. And you can see now we've got another title. And similarly with that, what we can do is we can, instead of having a header, we can just write in square brackets space and then in actual just normal brackets we can specify a value so we can specify a value of 10 and we can save that out and you can see now it's spaced out via value of 10 usually good to go up in increments of 10 so you can go to 20 if you wanted a sort of double space like these above but it just allows you to manage everything and break things apart when you don't need them all to be together and what you can even do if you want to sort of try and give some hints for specific actual variables that you might want for the inspector you can add tooltips so you can write in square brackets tooltip and in quotes uh, in brackets in quotes you can write in something like this is for maximum thirst and then we can save that out and go back into unity and you can see that the map you can see that if i try and ho hover over any of these other variables nothing happens if i hover over the max thirst you can see we now have a tooltip this is for maximum thirst and that allows you to just nicely arrange those variables so they're very much easy for anybody to come in and have a look really easily and not have to sort of trouble you with anything that you've got you can use regions to organize the variables that you've got here. So you can use hash region and then have this as all my variables. And then you could use an end region here, for instance, and save that out. And once you've saved it, we'll have a little icon at this side to just minimize it. So you can say that those are all my variables, but say I just wanted to hide all the variables at once. So I didn't have to be able to see them. I can just put it at the end there and we'll be able to collapse it and you can see that all my variables are collapsed in one. So this just helps you to nicely manage everything that's there. That's not just appropriate for variables, you can use that for all of your code so you can region off different 
blocks of code you can choose to make a private visible within the inspector, add headers, tooltips, add spaces and region off variables when it's actually required. So hopefully this is just a fairly simple straightforward tutorial just to give you some tips and tricks on managing the things that you want to manage. So thanks again for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, cheers.